What's up guys, it's Smasher. Today I'm bringing you a Battlefield 3 Squad Deathmatch commentary. So uh, I pretty much cut the first four minutes of this video off because uh, yeah, I had four kills in like four minutes and <laughs> in that stupid LAV and uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. So uh, I'm running the AK-74M with a hollow point or a hollow sight and a heavy barrel on Wake Island. I, well, I think I'm. I think I'm. I'm also running the javelin, uh, which I really don't care too much for post patch. Uh, but I think I was still experimenting with this. This was filmed, I think, right after the patch came out. Um, so I may switch over to small at some point in time during this game. Uh, I'm playing with a group of four people, and uh, there's two other full teams on the map. So there's. I think there's one guy in the in the fourth team. So it's it's it shouldn't be a complete uh, blowout. So anyways, uh, squad deathmatch still fun, still enjoy it. Hard to get in rooms still with uh, that are full of people. Um, and uh, for the most part, I kind of I, I switched around. I was messing around doing a bunch of different stuff when I came back to Battlefield uh, after the patch, and um, I actually completely um, have been playing only on my 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 forum servers. Uh, for the past uh, few weeks, so you're only going to see rush gameplay out of me for the next two to uh, I don't know next few commentaries, or whatever. I do have some some rush gameplay built up. If you guys do want to join and play with us on our server, um, all you have to do on is on Xbox. Just go search for GoTGR, and you'll be able to find the server that way. Um, it's 24/7 rush server. And we we rotate. Uh, I think it's only like we, we do one one round on each map. So it switches maps every single round, but you still switch attack defend every game, which is kind of neat. Um, I like it. I like the faster rotation. Um, but you know, some people are are are, are kind of uh, you know. I get I'm getting mixed results back. Um, I, I have people sending me messages that are using the server and they're kind of torn as to what which which direction they like uh, so uh, everything seems to be going a lot better since they patched this game uh, there's definitely some issues came up darts yeah those things are ridiculous um, I put I, I everybody who had me into my server it knows that if you get on my server with a dart that you just get ban hammered and then that's the end of that so then we don't have to mess around with it, uh, and it's fair for everyone, uh, because it's, it's just too bad when people abuse exploits like that when playing Battlefield. It's just it's sad. So, um, anyways, uh, Battlefield's been been all right. Um, this this Wake Island man is always it's always tough to get to get um, the kills you need on this one because everybody like seems to want to hang out in like two or three different spots there, there's two hills in this game the one of which we're on and uh, people want to kind of hang out there and, and work their way around that and there's one over by the other building where everybody wants to sit and camp there as well and I just never really understood um, the theory behind that but it, it makes you know it, it makes it easier if we camp out on the hill that everybody's trying to go to because that way uh, they'll just keep coming to us like they were um, this guy who who is in this this lab was definitely uh, a uh, seasoned uh, whore <laughs> lab whore um, in squad deathmatch you know we, we don't normally play squad deathmatch when we came in we didn't have any of the fancy attachments that he has he's using smoke like crazy and who the hell uses smoke on a lab? Um, I guess people who use who play squad deathmatch do, and it makes sense because um, if you only have one or two guys shooting at you in squad deathmatch, you can smoke is very effective. Um, I wouldn't normally use that in in a, in a rush game or anything like that because I think that there's other things that are more useful than that. But it makes sense here. So um, luckily, we had people who were getting their revive on on our squad, and you know, for the most part. And when you play squad deathmatch or team deathmatch or anything like that, being a medic is, is probably the most beneficial thing you can do for your team. Um, in this case, I was trying to be a, I was trying to be a, a uh, good god, yeah, I was getting shot in the back constantly. Um, I was trying to play as a uh, engineer to take out that that LAV or or is, I don't know if it's a BPM actually. Eh, 
Yeah, I may be talking about the completely different wrong thing here and looking like an idiot. Anyways, whatever, whatever vehicle that is. <laughs> and if somebody knows how to drive and they're good in it, um, you need to get them out of there quick, regardless if they're killing your team or not, because they're going to be killing the other team. <laughs> and you have to worry about that in squad deathmatch, because they can pass you up if they're murdering the other team before you can get to them or to the people in the vehicle. So, um, hello. That dude just got knife through. Really? <laughs> I've been having so much of that since the patch went through. I'm, I'm wondering if they changed how, how knives take place or how they work or, or, or something along that lines. Um, because I, I have gotten so many times where I just walk up to somebody and knife and it swipes at them rather than, than uh, taking their dog tags. It frustrates the living heck out of me. Yeah, see, we switched over and we weren't messing around anymore with the uh, javelins. Um, but unfortunately, the, the, the biggest thing, that I guess, in squad deathmatch you have to do uh, more than anything is stay with your squad. <laughs> I know that sounds simplistic and, and, and like I'm trying to keep it simpler than it really is. But in all honesty, that's probably the best thing you can do. Is you stick with your squad, you communicate. If, if one person leaves, everybody really needs to go. Like, they're running off here, so I ran off with them. And we're talking what's going on and where the people are at and everything else there. Because they're, you know, ultimately, I mean, it's, it's if you really think about it, it's, it's a uh, 4 on 12. So... If, if they got the full team in there. Got your tags. Why, thank you. I love getting them tags. Ugh. Not nearly as uh, crazy as I did in Bad Company 2. That, in, in Battlefield 3, when you get somebody's tags, man, you can really... It, it really puts you out in the open and, and open to getting hurt. Because you just stand up real tall and... Here I am! Please shoot me in the face! In, in Bad Company too, man, you could rip like three or four dudes' tags very quickly. And that's one thing I, didn't, I don't understand about the vehicles here too now that I look at that. I mean, that dude, even if he's getting fixed, and he's already on fire, he's getting hit with multiple rockets, as you can see there. <laughs> it just takes, I, I think that burning vehicles take too much, uh... Uh, maybe it's maybe it's the opposite. Maybe the the uh, maybe dice needs to instead of lowering how much it takes how many it takes to blow a vehicle up. Maybe post setting on fire. Maybe they need to, to higher how much it takes before it sets on fire. It seems like you can almost set a tank on fire, disable it in one rocket sometimes. Maybe even two, and then uh, you've got a. I've sailed five or six into into vehicles before and had them not blow up. It just even when they're not getting fixed too, it's just, it's insane. I don't know if that's because they're running maintenance or whatever else they could possibly be doing. Um, so anyways, this AK-74, um, have you guys, have it, I don't know if you guys are using it or not. This thing uh, is is quite the quite the trick at, at medium ranges. I mean, you just take, at that range, the last couple ranges I shot, that thing is deadly. Um, it's it does okay up front and at long distance it's crap but I mean at your at your uh, close to medium ranges this thing's a terror so I would recommend that you check it out and uh, throw a heavy barrel on it too the heavy barrel makes it uh, increases that distance and it's just you can put in work so anyways um, but definitely guys you should come join join our server play with us sometime uh, it, it'd be an easy way because you know Xbox is as I've mentioned before in videos Xbox is restrictive I've been maxed out at friends and I got like 15 or 20 friends requests in queue you know so it's like <laughs> it's hard to get to play with everybody so um, you know you need to uh, you need to I guess it, it, but if you join our server then then you don't have to worry about that the problem is you just may end up playing <clears throat> wow that dude took gang of bullets um, little inconsistency there. Um, if you join the server, anyways, you, it'll be a lot easier for you to uh, to.
who come and play with us and you may not end up on our team but you know nonetheless it'll it'll still be cool it's based on the east coast of uh, the u.s and i'm on the west coast i put on the east coast uh, just so it's closer to um, a lot of people that we play with in canada normally and on the east coast of canada and uh, they uh they're able to connect pretty well to it and it's halfway decent connection to me so it's not too bad anyways um, thanks for watching guys and uh, I'm gonna leave the the uh, score up here so you guys can see what's going on but that's the end of the commentary thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe